I came to Puerto Rico not only to learn and work, but to bring some of the displaced dogs back home. That I think we're gonna have to bring them on as our carry-ons. Since the flight is over 17 hours with multiple connections, I would never risk flying a dog in cargo. So any dog that comes back with us has to travel as a carry-on. How do you guys feel about foregoing your carry-ons to bring back a dog with you? Since my family isn't here for this rescue mission, I'm relying on the crew for support. They're my family while I'm on the road. I'm in. How do you guys feel? Absolutely. Thankfully, our film crew is so ride or die, they all agreed to forego their carry-on luggage just to bring a dog back with them. So this means that we can save five little nuggets, but the hard part now begins because I have to decide which ones are coming back with me. Okay. What magical puppies would you like to take home? I'm very happy that she's stepping up and wanting to help some of my dogs. I'm interested to see which choices she makes. It's not gonna be easy. Um, I think like dogs like this size. I think it's a 20, 20 pound <laughs> limit under the seat. Yeah, 20 pounds and under is what we need to focus on. And that's including their kennel, so. When choosing a dog to bring back from any location I'm at, I typically try to find the most major medically needy, a special needs animal, super seniors. This guy's a great size. I know he's one of your ultra seniors that you've had here for a long time. I typically want to see the list of dogs that have the lowest possibility of ever finding a family. Ultimately, I really would love to take this guy home. Right now, we only have five spaces in cabin with us as carry-ons. Unfortunately, Mason won't be able to go. Regulation. He won't fit. But maybe he's one we can talk about for in another transport in the future. This is such a hard decision because these are all highly adoptable, great candidates for family homes. Every dog here deserves and should have a home. And every dog here really is highly, highly adoptable. But I'm not going to rush this. Bye, ladies. I'm going to go back to my room tonight. Bye, babies. I'm going to figure out which are great candidates for Panda Paws Rescue, and I'll make sure I get Bonnie the list first thing in the morning. Man, I was up all night trying to decide which dogs to bring back with us. It was a really, really tough decision, but we have three special needs nuggets coming with us that I'm so glad we can help, and a couple of bonus puppies. We're all exhausted, we're all tired, we're all ready to get home to our families and our children and our animals, and yeah, it was good though. It, I mean, this trip, this trip is definitely one of the best relief effort trips I've ever been on. Now we're just waiting for Bonnie to bring those five new kiddos to us. <laughs> good morning, you look adorable. Thank you. Good to see you. I'm like a bag lady. <laughs> Good morning, babies. Are you ready to go home with Auntie Panda? First up are our two bonus pups, Corazon and Esperanza. Cute little Sato babies. Oh. Hey, thank glad you so to raise much. you. So one down. I'm going to move this little guy over. I know. Here you go. My focus normally is on the more major medical, harder cases. But we had two extra spots, and these puppies had their health certificates, and they were 100% ready to go. Say thank you. OK, baby girl. Thank you, Mama Bonnie. Be good. Have a great life. Mm -hmm. Here you go. You guys can see each other through your vents. See? Next up, the guy came for Mr. Rags. Oh, my goodness. You are so cute. Here's your new nugget. Hey, mister. Hey. I can't get enough of Mr. Rags and his noodle leg. He's 13 years old with a really old injury to his humerus. For such an old man, you're so playful. Yes. I mean, he really has a lot going against him, but he is the epitome of full of life. He's the happiest dude and so special. I'm just glad he waited for me to come get him. Good to see you, buddy. I'm happy for you. We found you in pretty bad shape caught in a barbed wire fence line for several days. It's amazing you survived. Good boy. I just can't wait to get him home and have his leg looked at and find him the family he deserves. Oh my god, I love you so much. Then there's this little sugar button, Miss Flora. I promised you'd be going home with me. <laughs> I've been told Flora suffers from a skin condition. You get raspberries every day. Well, we need to get to the bottom of this and find out what's really going on. 
I'm completely in love with this dog. So I can't wait to get her back home, have her seen by our vets, get a real diagnosis, and eventually find her a forever family. I'm building quite the dog posse over here. Okay, babes. You got the best chance now. Damn you for making me cry. <laughs> Good girl, you're gonna be my riding partner, okay? Me I'm already getting choked. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have our super senior, Mr. McGee. Oh, this special guy is a hard one for Bonnie to see go. A terrible cruelty case who has been with her for years. But if anyone deserves a forever home, it's McGee. Something about him and his sweet nature and the fact that I knew we could bring him back to the mainland and he was gonna open up and flourish and find a family, no matter what. I mean, his, his blindness really was no concern to me. He's a special man. It's okay, boo. You're gonna have a great life. You deserve it. You hung in there a long time. How many years exactly? Six? Six years he's been with me. Bonnie is a very proud, stoic, woman. She is very tough on the outside. So to see her get emotional speaks volumes. Yeah, it is bittersweet, but I'm Such glad. A good feeling. She has poured her whole life into these animals. Good boy. Not often blind dogs get that second better or, chance. Or a senior. Senior and blind. Yeah. All right, we have all five loaded. <laughs> Don't make me cry again. <laughs> Thank you very much for walking into my life. Thank you. It's, it's not goodbye. We'll see it's you not later. Goodbye. See you later. See ya. <laughs> Saying goodbye is just tough. It's it's. I'll see you later, but it's gonna be a long time before I make it back here. I was ready to get home to my family and my dogs and get these rescues home with us so we could help find them homes, but I didn't want to leave. I had one foot off the island and one foot firmly planted on that island, and a piece of me lives on the Puerto Rico island with Bonnie, absolutely. We have a lifelong friendship that has just begun. Sisterhood of Rescue. I like it, I like it.